Stroba Gang, welcome back to a brand new episode of Stray. If you are new here, please consider liking and subscribing so you never miss an upload from me. In the previous episode, we made our way from the Ant Village, uh, made our way all the way to Midtown, and we found Clementine. We, she informed us about her plan to escape through the subway system, but she needed a uh, an atomic battery which we stole oh yeah link to the previous episode at the top end of hand of your screen sorry yeah and now we went back to her apartment we found out that she was not there the place was overrun by authorities and she's at the nightclub and that's where we shall be heading today oh we also stole some clothes and a hat isn't that right brody anyway here we are it's time for us to continue this story. Uh, my left it off when he was sleeping on top of some guy. I mean, he seemed happy about it, so <laughs> there's that. Anyway, um, we are now going to head over to the nightclub and find Clementine and see what we can do to help her in this gnarly situation about um, trying to escape to the surface. Okay, no, 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 no. We had escaped this place, man. Okay, this isn't ideal. Um, the previous episode I left it all. But then it shouldn't be too much of an issue. I'll just have to um get out of here once again. It's no big deal, to be honest. It just means the episode starts off at a point that I did not guarantee, well, not guarantee, but a point I did not um, think it would since we had already left. But anyway, shouldn't be too much of an issue. Right, so as I said, you come here, you wait for this guy to come, you follow him and you just cheese it. Once it turns, I mean, all right, it's about time for us to cheese it. Done. And that guy cheeses it, and then we cheese it some more. Oh lord, I forgot this this sentinel actually looks through the stairs, and I'm gonna have to wait for him to look the other way, and we're gonna cheese it. Alright, now we're gonna have to wait for this sentinel to look around one more time and then we shall cheese it all the way out of here. Right, so uh, we know that Clementine is at the club, so that's where we shall be headed. Let's go talk to the bouncer and see if we can get inside the club. Oh, here yeah, the guys. Alright, so let's see. Okay, so we are gonna have to climb in through the back, same as these guys. I uh, should thank him for that hint. Alright, so this is the back of the club, I assume. As you can see, there's a guy that's just having fun. Oh man, that's so sad. Anyway, forget, let's not ponder too much on his sadness. We need to go in through the back. Okay, mm I guess we're not going to be able to talk to that guy. Okay. 
Alright, so this is the nice club. Alright, as always, if you want any information, you talk to the button. Awesome, so we need to get to the VIP lounge. So we need to go get this guy drink and it's gonna give us that level. I mean that's a strange drink I've ever seen one but sure. the level now um i'm not so sure what else we can do of course we can't talk to the djs We're going to have to find a way to place these platforms around to allow us to uh, move towards the VIP route. As you can see, that is not the way to do it. So we need to go back and find another one. I think that should do it actually. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that should do it. Alright, Brody. What's going on? Why is Clementine all tied up? Okay, this is so stupid. She's a robot. Her mouth's not tied up. Um, okay. Okay, that's not cool, man. Oh, man, Brody's been shot. Oh. Yeah. So, life is not good for Brody, you know. You fall off a, you fall off a very steep wall. You get chased around by Zacks. And now you are a caged animal in a zoo. Oh, poor Brody. Okay, I see. So moving from side to side will allow us to swing our cage. I guess eventually it will hit the pipe. Ah. Alright. Right, 
so let's see if we can't find our way out of here. Oh man, Brody looks so basic. Looks so basic without. Oh, we are in jail. Ah, that makes sense. Um, okay, um. Brody is looking so basic without P12 on his back. This is very disconcerting. Okay, we need to be careful because we do not want to be spotted by our friendly neighborhood sentinels. Okay, seems he can't reach this far, so there was no need for me to be worried. Anyway, we're gonna make our way upstairs. And then be stuck because I don't know what to do. Lovely. Oh, never mind. Oh, it's Clem. It's so convenient that she was placed in a cell that's exactly next to the control room where her keys are. Okay, I don't know why I thought it was gonna be as easy as <laughs> climbing through the windows. Um. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. I'm gonna be honest, I'm just going by vibes and inshallah at this point. I didn't play this section much. So my memory is a bit foggy on what we're supposed to be doing, but I'm guessing so far so good. Isn't that right, Brody? Wait, I'm gonna need to meow far away. Yes. All right, so we freed Clem. So I'm guessing this is our version of Prison Break. Dude, I cannot understand you. Oh boy, do we need B112 so badly. Save him.
No, we have to save B12, man. Yeah, we to I cannot understand you, Clementine. All I know is we have to save B12. Okay, I remember just lacking my way through saving him when I first played this and I hope I can do the same thing because I'm definitely not good at memory or rather my memory is not so clear on how I did it exactly I do not understand you. One iota. Anyway. Let's see if I can remember how I got through this. I know for a fact if we trigger the lasers we are done for. Yeah, so this laser moves, as crazy as that sounds. Okay, we are still safe. Oh Lord, Jesus, oh my, I keep forgetting that these lasers move. if that guy oh yeah he does never mind all right so i'm gonna have to wait for him to turn i'm gonna jump out and then you're gonna cheese it all right so far so good yeah everybody's now looking at b12 like what dude what did you do what did you do so all the sentinels are on yellow a lot or, or what I like to call amber a lot Okay We are almost out of here, you guys. Almost. Oh boy. Perfectly timed. Perfectly timed. If I do say so myself. Friendship. 
Alright, so now we can continue doing our merry hacking and be on our merry way. Sorry, just you know, screw those bricks. Oh, you actually needed that. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I was doing that for fun. <laughs> All right, so far, so good. Alright, so we have to lure the sentinels into the cell. I'm not sure how I can do this. I'll have to come, make sure they follow me, run round and then trap them on the inside. Okay. So far, so good. Hmm, you actually have a remember right here. I have missed so many memories because this is literally the last one. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so we have to do this again. And this time we have two. So I'm guessing I'm gonna have to. Oh god. I can't believe we didn't get caught. So we're gonna have to open that door. Okay, this one's already open, so that's cool. Okay, so I'm gonna need to do this like now. Yeah, it's dangerous. It is freaking dangerous. But nobody does it better than Brody. Greatest cut agent of all time. Sorry, I just wanted to do that for fun. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. 
Alright, so we need to find a way to access the control room. Oh yeah, I haven't done this in a while, especially since we were trapped in a cage. Ah, feels so good. I mean, you can use this to climb up the control room. I have no idea what you just said, Clem. Whoa, 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 whoa. Seems a little bit too easy. Oh, I had to open my mouth. Okay, Brody. You are going to have to cheese it. Really, Clem? You are really gonna abandon us, huh? Really claim. Okay. Wow, sentinels are dumb. Okay, I have just one thing to say. All this time she's taking to explain to us that one of us has to make it to the surface. She could have just closed the door while she's on the same side as us and we would have gone together. Just saying. Just saying. So much time. Just saying. Anyway, we are back to being the cute lovable selves that we were. All by ourselves. So this is the place we were. Wait, that trouble that was here is gone. Huh. Anyway, we are back to the subway system. Now we have the battery, which I believe we can't fit um, if we follow this wire that is... Okay, that's where it is, so... Just need to follow the wire all the way down to the subway battery system and we should be done. Alright, the atomic battery is definitely powering up the subway for us, which is nice. Now we make our way all the way to the front of the subway and we are out of here.
so dark all of a sudden. Alright, we're in the control room. Now this is where all the people that could literally control the planet stayed. I mean look how beautiful this place is. Huh? So well kept. So well maintained. And the robots up here seem to be the most, not the most, they seem to be the least um, advanced or developed or evolved. Yeah, they seem the least evolved. They are literally still performing the tasks that they were designed to do while the others have gained some form of autonomy over themselves. So as you can see, we are still an inhabitant of the world, world city. So the city is still sealed. So we need to find a certified engineer in one of the control rooms. So that's the control room. Convenient. How that works, I do not know. I never took any engineering. Alright, we're in the control room. Alright, so that's the final big story memory unlocked. So, I've only unlocked 66% of the memories, which is two thirds. So, um, you can bet that I'm not so devastated that I missed some. Anyway. So we need to turn on this long row of computers. Why do they always have long row computers in the olden days? I do not know. Wait. Oh, never mind. So us working on the keyboard turns on the computers. Interesting. All 
Alright, those are two. And finally, the third one. Yeah, that's what we've been doing the entire playthrough. He hacks, we destroy. Anyway, let's begin, shall we? So I do see one right here. Okay, we need to find the other uh, system security and just destroy them. Okay, this is the second one, although I do not know how we are supposed to destroy it. Uh, oh, how convenient! Oh man, these things are hitting. Oh man, they're really taking a toll on him. Oh, I don't know, you could recharge right now. You're literally sparking, man. Okay, uh, we go up, we drop this down. We jump down and it's open up for us. Oh man. Oh man. Oh no man, that's not the workstation. Oh man, B12. Vitamin B12. Oh man, this is so emotional, man. God damn. Oh, B12. Is 
anybody else feeling as sad as I am that Bitoil sacrificed himself? I mean, at the end of the day, um, everybody will be able now to live to the water surface. You see, as you can see, even in the slums where the Zaks were. Like, at this point, everybody will sacrifice themselves so that they could get us to open up the city has done a good thing. As you can see, that's Momo finally being able to see the surface for the first time. Even the protector, you know, the guardian and everyone else. They're like, they actually succeeded in doing it. As you can see, this is Clem. Oh man, she was actually about to get destroyed. So if you can see on the outside, um, the sky is sort of opening up. So it's not yet fully opened as the computer shows it's only 28 to 29, we are at 30% there on about. And honestly speaking, I'm kind of sad that B12 is no more. And personally speaking, I'm gonna just lie, let Brody lie here with B12 for as long as possible. By that I mean until, you know, those doors open. And as you can see from the outside, it's getting brighter and brighter as the doors open more and more. Oh man, but it's so sad that we've lost B12. Extremely sad. Ah, seventy-seven percent. Yeah, almost there, you guys. Almost there. so the gates to the city are open B12 made the sacrifice so that everybody else would see the light of day he fulfilled his one true goal that was to open up the city for everyone he might have done it some centuries too late for humanity but he's definitely done it he's definitely done a good job for everything that's left as you see the sunlight kills the zacks it stops the sentinels and everybody can see the outside once and more anyway as sad as this is it's time for me to wake up come on brody we have to leave i know there's that there's just that one feeling for trying to sleep with b12 but, as sad as it is, we have to keep on moving. Probably try and get towards... Ah, you actually see some poplars in the carpet. Anyway, yeah, try to get back to our bros. You know, if you can't find them. Now, here's the thing. Do you think the bros would believe... Brody when he comes back and tells them oh, you would believe the adventure I've been on. Like do you think they'd believe him? Or would be they like or would they be like yeah sure? Yeah sure. Yeah that happened. But yeah, I did not expect us to finish um the game in this episode. I actually thought we'd be doing it in one episode. I predicted six episodes, we've done it in one less, which is quite amazing, even for me, if I do say so myself, so I'm gonna leave it here, it's been a wonderful playthrough, we've finally gotten back to the surface, and 
Brody is that guy. I'm kind of sad that we'd never see his cut bros. I thought that he was gonna get back to Johnson, Snow, and Damien, but you know, these things happen. So I will be catching you back with the return of Life is Strange, but Steph's story. So until then, I'm gonna leave you with a few words. Stay safe, be smart, be kind, tell somebody you love them, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye, guys. I'm mm-hmm.